What's going on here? <laughs> Listen, you nitwits, the lights are still out in my office. I want juice and I want it right away. Here you are. Ow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Reasoning and teamwork is hard enough for humans, let alone programming them into robots. But figure AI is leading the way. Coming up, I'll share with you how Helix, a vision language action model, has taken figure to the next level. All of that and more coming up. A major reason why the figure robots can operate so well is that they utilize a vision language action model called Helix. Helix integrates perception, language understanding, and control to address challenges in robotics. It enables full upper body control of humanoid robots, including wrists, torso, head, and fingers. But there's a couple of extraordinary things the robots do. First, the figures work independently on unseen items in front of them. That's cool, but what's even more outstanding is that these robots can effortlessly collaborate and they only collaborate when one needs to pass an item to the other. On top of that, the robots don't communicate verbally. Instead, while staring at each other, they pause and seem to communicate telepathically. I wonder if they're really just talking trash about us. According to Figure AI, the supervisory AI architecture divides the overall goal into smaller substacks while controlling each robot independently. And the good news for engineers is that Helix operates on low power GPUs. And that helps increase purchase power if you're in the market. So just what industry can we expect to find our figure friend? Well, we'll let you know that coming up, but first let's check out our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Ampro MAN 02-A is a portable, battery-operated pressure measuring device that reads both gauge and differential pressure. It offers five selectable units and records maximum and minimum values. A large backlit LCD ensures easy readability in various lighting conditions. A built-in USB port allows data transfer to a PC using Amprobe's free download suite software. Additionally, features include auto power off, data hold, and a relative time clock for event tracking. It also comes with connection hoses for easy setup and use. The Ampro MAN02-A is ideal for HVAC R technicians and pneumatic control applications. To explore more or purchase this reliable measuring device, visit Mauser.com today or click the link in the description. Learning about AC to DC rectifiers is key for building reliable power supplies in everything from gadgets to industrial. To discover more, we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. One of the most important devices in any system, whether it's industrial, commercial, residential, is this thing called a power supply. Now, this power supply's job is to take AC electricity, which might come from plugging it in an outlet in your house, or coming from the single phase or even the three phase supply of an industrial facility and turning it into a straight, steady DC direct current output. Well, how does it accomplish this? The very first thing that we see inside these devices is what's called a rectifier. And the rectifier is this four terminal device and the size is dependent, just like everything else in a circuit board, the size is dependent on how much electricity it can allow through. And the four pins, two of them are used for the incoming AC. The other two are for the outgoing DC. And inside these devices is a clever arrangement of diodes, which are like one-way valves for electricity. The forward voltage, the forward side of the waveform, it allows through just as is. The negative side of the AC waveform, it reverses to become positive and allows that to go through the output. Therefore, it turns the constantly fluctuating positive negative into a common DC output, but it still goes up and down once each cycle. So next, to smooth out that constant up and down voltage, we run it through a capacitor. These capacitors, again, size is dependent on amount of power, store and discharge the constantly fluctuating electricity, turning it into that nice, steady output of DC that we need and we expect to run all of the DC devices, including solenoids, actuators, motors, even some AC motors use DC. It's found everywhere throughout, again, industrial and residential devices. And primarily it revolves around the use of these rectifiers and capacitors to be able to get the output that we really need to drive all of our devices. Andy, back to you. 
Thank you, David. Figures Helix VLA has busted open the door of opportunity for these humanoid robots. Package handling is just one such opportunity Figure has its finger on. Package handling and sorting are crucial in logistics, but challenging due to the variety of package sizes, shapes, and weights. The Figure 2 robot tackles this by determining the best time and method to grab and reorient packages, ensuring labels are always in the right position for scanning. With packages constantly moving, the system must also keep track of the flow and self-correct when needed. These solutions not only solve industrial challenges, but also improve the Helix System 1 for other applications. I'm still amazed at the teamwork of these figure robots, and I can't wait to see them in the ring. That does it for us. Be sure to click the link on your screen for everything control automation, and we'll see you next time.